Howdy on campers and welcome back to beer reviews with the beer sarge. So this is the disguise that I put on so that I could go into the shop and buy Spates Gold Metal Ale and Leon Rouge that's lion red for you uneducated fellas but I had to wear a disguise because who the fuck wants to be seen buying one single bottle of beer? Hey, unless it's a craft and then people are like, well, he knows what he's doing. But if you go in and say, I'll just have one wife beater, thanks. These are called wife beaters. It's not a, it's just a term that these are called wife beaters. I don't know why they call them that. Don't condone that. There you go. That's what they're called. But you walk into the shop and you buy one of these, you're just like an alcoholic. Especially since they're, you know, generally bought in a dozen in a crate you take your old crate in and you come out with a full one so I didn't want to be seen to be doing that so I had to wear a disguise so I did so today we're doing a head-to-head -head between Spates gold metal ale and lion red these two beers they are Pretty much North Island versus South Island. Spates, South Island, down in Dunny Dan, <coughs> so down in Dunedin. You've got the Spates uh, brewery down there, and Lion Red is brewed up here in Auckland. Um, or used to be, I don't know if it is anymore. The both of them are, are both of them are brewed by Lion Breweries, which is also part of Kirin breweries from Japan who pretty much own the entire world of beer. Um, Lion Red been around since 1907 they say, Spates been around about the same maybe even earlier. Um, all of the advertising is pretty much you know we're the oldest beer in the world sort of thing. Um, I probably should have got a DB Draft as well because DB Draft has been around since Adam was a cowboy and pretty much that's what Kiwi kids grow up on. I grew up on DB, um, not draft, but DB green, which is, you can't get anymore. That's what the old man used to buy. And uh, that's what I used to drink. So, so anyway, let's get into the, um, to this taste test, because I know there's some people out there that wanted this head to head to go ahead. So we have, so I've already poured a little bit in, but let's, uh, let's pour some more in. So this is the Spates so that's the colour of your Spates it's, it's a bit darker it's a bit dark it's a, you know you wouldn't say it's a it's not an it, it's an amber fluid I suppose a little bit of amber fluid there and this is the Lion Red so it's a little bit lighter Lion Red is a little bit lighter. Um, now, I don't know. It's they're, they're pretty much. I keep them in the right in the right hand, so I know what I'm doing. So this is this is your Spates, and this is your Lion Red. Now, if you look at the colours there, they're very very similar. This is slightly lighter, slightly lighter. Um, not a hell of a lot lighter, but just slightly lighter. Now our sniff, so we'll have a bit of a, get the aroma off this. Just malt, like no hops, can't taste or can't smell any hops. No, no hop smell on that at all, on the spates. And to be fair, this, the smell is very, very similar, like very similar on the Lion Red. So at this stage, the only difference between the two the, the, the aromas are the same, the colours are slightly different with the spates being um, a slightly darker uh, and if I had to say anything about the aromas it would be that the spates has got a slightly heavier malt aroma but that's it, There's nothing huge. Alright, taste test. Mm. 
it's a spate <coughs> not bitter slightly sweet so it's, it's got a slight sweetness to it um, not a not a huge malt flavor but there is the there is malt notes there um, yeah it's it's all right so it's a it's an okay beer it's a four percent standard stock standard beer all right line read slightly sharper on the tongue than than the spates slightly sharper <coughs> um, a more subtle malt flavor to it but no lingering bitterness so it doesn't it doesn't hang around um, and that could be due to the style of hops that they use in in both brews because there's no lingering bitterness in each each brew no bitterness at all so um, those bittering hops that are generally used I don't know perhaps they don't use many of them or they use a different variety but the lion red has got a very pleasant taste it's not sweet like the spates the spates is a lot sweeter than the lion red um, I don't know if, it, if you if you you're tossing I mean, it it kind of depends where you come from <coughs> when it comes down to um, beers I think so if you grew up in the South Island then I'm thinking you're going to be a spates drinker if you grew up in the North Island I would assume that you're going to be a lion red drinker um, That's pretty much all it comes down to. You walk into a pub and the beer that's on tap is Spates or Lion Red because it, it generally will be because it's the same um, brewery supplier. It'll be one or the other, you'll pick one or the other. Um, you're not going to go wrong with either but if you go for stuff on, on tap at a at a, and I'm not talking at some trendy bar down the fucking viaduct. I'm talking about a pub. Where you go to the pub and they've got three taps. Or you go to your Raza, your local Raza. And what they've got on tap there is Lion Red, DB Draft, Spates. And if you're lucky, you might get Spates Old Dark in there as well for a darker brew. <sighs> the end of the day, between Spates Gold Metal Ale and lion red beer I would say this is a fucking dead heat they are as good as each other and you can't go past them for a standard beer they are pretty good kiwi beers <laughs>